Okay, we're going to show you the original file of me figuring out my next engine scanner after about a year. Um, they've got some new software improvements. This is the original file that uh, I'm scanning today. I got it out of the box after sitting for about six months on the shelf. This is uh, the actual scan, uh, seven, I think seven of eight taking place. It has done a rotation and it is uh, scanning basically the left side of the face. It just finished and you can see it moving the indexer to the uh, final position and now we're going to go up and watch it on the software where you can see the holes in the left side of the face. The software intuitively uh, does its job and then when I bring it back forward you will see that the uh, hole has begun to get filled you see and uh, you can see the hole, the filling all to the left of the eye there where that hole was um, in just a second we'll go on and show you the uh, results uh, now I took this raw data at this point <clears throat> without any kind of uh, cleaning whatsoever and took it straight there's the uh, I haven't even done any uh, material remover for the post behind it or anything uh, I saved it as a .stl and exported it and now I'm going to import it into um, Aspire and machine it and at this point you'll see when I remove the material this is uh, importing the raw data, the STL file, directly into Aspire and machining it with no sculpting whatsoever. Um, needless to say, I'm pretty tickled pink with my results today, but I've been asked many times about the next engine scanner. So I wanted to go ahead and uh, show you this thing, because I love this thing now.